Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to determine if a given set of information is exponential, linear, or neither. For exponential, what we want to look for is that we are multiplying by the same factor each time. Linear, we are adding by the same factor each time. And neither is, we're neither multiplying nor adding by the same number each time. So there's something else going on. So for all of these, if you notice that my x's all do increase by one, so my change in x is just one. So for this, we would just be looking at our y values. If these values were different, then you would just use your traditional slope formula to help you out to make sure that the rate of change is the same. So we would divide our change in y um, by our change in x. So for this one, since we're just dividing by one, all we're gonna look at is our value. So I always start with adding first to see if it's the same. So if I go from 12 to 7, we can see that we added 5. From 17 to 22, we also added 5. 22 to 27, we also added 5. And then 27 to 32, we also added 5. So for this one, we can say that this is linear since we're adding by the same value each time. All right, for the second one, if we look at this, if we first look at adding from two to seven, we can see that we added five. Well, from seven to 13, we can see that we now added six. So we can say that this is definitely not going to be linear because we have a different number here. And then if we look at exponential to see if it's exponential, remember that exponential means that we multiplied by the same thing. So to go from two to seven, I would have to multiply by 3.5. If I do seven times 3.5, it is not gonna give me 13. So this one would be neither since I'm not adding by the same number nor multiplying by the same number. Okay, and then looking at our last one, From one third to one, we can see that we added two thirds. Well, if I add one to three, I would add two, and then I would add six, so I can, I know that this one is not linear. So let's look at exponential. If I go from one third to one, I multiplied one third by three to end up with one as my answer. To go from one to three, I did again multiply by three because one times three does give me three. Three times three gives me nine. 9 times 3 gives me 27, and so I can say that this one is exponential since I'm multiplying by 3 each time. So to be linear, we add by the same number each time. To be exponential, we multiply by the same number each time. And if neither of those are happening, then it is neither exponential nor linear. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.